Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Paige Johnson is an actress who likes to mind her own business. She's focused and determined to be the best she can be as an actress and as a woman. What is there to know about Paige Johnson? Can Paige Johnson be a baby mama? Why are actresses richer than the actors? This captivating and beautiful Yoruba actress relocated from Egypt to Nigeria in 2016 to give her dream of acting wings to fly. Since she hit the ground running in 2017, there has been no stopping her. What was her early life like and her education? Educational background. She was born on November 15th in Ileife, Oshun State. She had her primary education at Community Primary School and her secondary education at Kingsville College, both in Oshun State. After her secondary education, she started living in Shagam. From there, her sister invited her over to Egypt. She liked the place and relocated to Egypt in 2011. She started in Egypt, she started a little business and did a bit of acting on the side. When did she develop interest in acting? According to Peju Johnson, she always wanted to be in the acting profession. It was a dream that became a passion. In her words, although I have always dreamt of becoming an actress, but the desire became a passion after I was given an opportunity. In my secondary school, I was a member of the drama group. However, I got my big chance when some people came to my school to shoot a movie. I needed a student for a role. I was picked for a semi-lead role in the movie, even as a student. Then after secondary school, when I relocated to Egypt, I did some acting. There is a branch of Theatre Arts and Motion Pictures Association of Nigeria called Tampa over there. How active is the tampon in Egypt and how many movies have been shot in Egypt? Pedro revealed that one of the Yoruba movies shot in Egypt is a popular one titled Omo Cairo, shot by Austin Emmanuel, and many Nigerians were featured in it. There's also Baba Ishu. Pedro was not featured in any of these movies, but the one she was featured in were Lawori Babaoli and Ikonju. How did she start her acting career? Peju Johnson came back to Nigeria in 2016 and met Ken Yemi in 2017. He's her boss and the person that put her through. She said without him, the journey would have been very hard, but with his help and tutelage, things have been moving for her very well. She wouldn't say things are going on smoothly, but she has been coping because acting comes with stress and some other challenges. So what is that unfortunate experience Peju has ever had in acting? Peju said she has had a bad experience. She was leaving location at a very late hour one day and her car got faulty on Todd Mainland Bridge. You should know how scary that place can be at late hours. After spending many hours stranded, help finally came. She an unknown man. She said even though she finally got help, the whole experience was scary for her. She had to be there for hours. She was asked in a recent interview about the recent trend in the industry and asked what she had to say about the word rape. She said, rape is a very crazy and hurtful incident to happen to someone, either male or female. It has been happening since I was young and I have been hearing about it even till this moment. It just really needs to stop. Say no to rape. I'm not talking about the desperate ladies in the industry that genuinely give their body to the men like directors, producers and the rest. Then they come out to say they were raped. These ones need to shut up. I'm talking about the innocent ladies who were molested and used without their consent. Has Major Johnson ever been harassed sexually in the industry? She answered with an affirmative no, and it will never happen to me, she said. On what influences Major Johnson's mode of dressing? Let me say that I'm who I am. My mode of dressing is me, and my mode of dressing. Since I was young, my mode of dressing never changed, and I've been like that since I was much younger, she said. Is Major Johnson secretly engaged, married, or in a relationship? No, Major revealed that she's neither engaged, married, or in a relationship at the moment, but she had a relationship earlier and said it is complicated. She also added that pretty soon she walked down the aisle. She revealed previously in an interview that a lot of men are coming, but she's not rushing. That she can't say because lots of men are coming for her now. Then she should make a wrong choice. What are the qualities made you want in a man? The man has to be loyal, caring, and most importantly, a God for a man. Because if a man has the fear of God, he wouldn't treat you badly. That is a man with conscience. How many films have made you just featured in since she came back to Nigeria? She has featured in more than 13 movies, including Love, Kama, Bajumo, Bandu, Sowonu, Olafra, Yola, Okomi, Otami, Widow, Wrong Number. Just to mention a few. Baju is beautiful. As this help I'm breaking through in the industry, she says she seriously doesn't really know, but she thinks she wouldn't have come this far so fast if she were ugly. For Baju, what makes a woman truly beautiful? In her words, 
True beauty comes from what lies inside a woman and not the outside attributes or features. Beauty does not come from wearing makeups, hair products, or other ornaments. It comes from intelligence, kindness, love of others, decency, sensitivity, and other attributes that express love and humanity. And to different people, it means different things. That is why they say beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. What is sexiness? For Kweju, sexy is soul. I think you're born with it. It's not what you buy or adorn yourself with. Sexiness is just about your being. I mean who you are. Contrary try to believe you can't buy it. It's not what you wear. It's about you as a woman and a person beyond your womanhood. What is it about the movie industry that annoys Beju? The downside she has noticed is the unfriendly attitude of some colleagues who spread false rumors when there is some form of closeness between an actress and the opposite sex. To them, it means you're automatically dating the person, she said. They assume so much and start gossiping, which leads to rumors. In some cases, they start off by jokingly calling you the girlfriend of this and that, and before you know it, the news is everywhere. Like seriously, that can be very annoying. They make it look like it's a sin or big deal to make friends with the opposite sex. This is what annoys Beju mostly in the movie industry. As a beautiful woman, how does she handle male advances? Beju says it has not been easy for her, but she simply lets them know she's not searching for the stubborn ones. She lets them know no matter how hard they try, she's not interested. Besides, she hardly gives people audience. It's very hard to get her contact or to see her, she said. When asked why female actors tend to be richer than their male counterparts, she said she can't really say since she was still new so for me she says she can't really say can not you be a baby mama for her it's a no she can't and she does not think she can ever be she wants a home she wants a husband and not a baby daddy she says she loves couples life marriage is fun when god gives you your own husband marriage is so sweet and when you marry someone you love you want to settle down with a man for her she wants to settle down with a man and not live her life as a single she said from Pedro's view, what project puts her in the limelight? She picked Widow, where she played the semi-lead role in the movie. She was Messi Aibé's younger sister in the movie. The story was about a woman who faced challenges from her in-laws after her husband passed her. As if from acting, what else does Pedro does? She's a businesswoman, and she deals in women's clothes and shoes. What were the challenges made you face at the beginning of our career? For the actress, acting is really exhausting. It's a lot of work. If you want to be successful in acting, you have to be dedicated. You have to be patient. And you have to be focused. Who are Kweju Johnson's role models? She mentioned Joker Silva, who she says can be described as a mother. She loves Joker Silva so much. She also loves Messi, Aibe, Tony Abraham, and Genevieve Energy. She was asked if it is true that one cannot make it in the yoga industry if you don't belong to a group or have a bus who trained you and introduced you to the industry. According to Pedro Johnson, it would only be difficult but not impossible. Even if you don't have anybody and God says you would make it, you will. There are people who have come to the industry without belonging to a group or being trained by anyone who have made it. If you have the talent and passion and God's grace, you will definitely make it. No doubt, having a boss helps a lot, but I don't believe you can't make it without one. In Pedro's opinion and from my experience, what does it take to break you as an actor, especially in the Yoruba sector? She revealed that the most important thing is the talent and drive. And like she said earlier, having a boss that could introduce you also helps because you can be getting jobs through him. Meanwhile, if you have money to produce your own movie, it will give you fame quicker than any other way around because with your money as a producer you can call the shot and take up any role you want for yourself what would we just say is a recipe for success she says prayers would she say some of our expectations have been met as an actor yes but not all of them Bridget Johnson is one of the hottest things right now in the movie industry. She gets invited to many movie locations. This is because she's good at what she does and she has the kind of figure that any movie producer would like to feature on his or her set. She's pretty, she's sexy, and she dresses to kill when she steps out. What informs what she wears to parties and events? She says, let me say, I dress up according to my mood. There are some kind of ways I cannot wear when I'm happy and when I'm not. And also, let me say, I dress according to the type of outing I'm going to, she says. We have come to the end of this episode of Pedro Johnson. Until next time, remain blessed.